Hello, my name is Etu Wen and I am a university student. Two years ago, I took a national university entrance exam. At that time, Masa, high school student, was trying to make a right choice to their future. And for me, I was so confused uh, picking um, University of Social Science and Humanity uh, and the education universities because I have friends of being a teacher since I was a child and at last I chose to become a student of University of Social Science and Humanity many people ask me why and the reason is I will tell you the story when I was 14 years old I love math and I good at this subject and I wanted to become a part of the student group to participate in a competition for an excellent student at Ho Chi Minh City in math and after two months trying a lot, studying hard, I dropped because I could not stand with my teachers anymore and he, the teachers, he met every student in his class to go to his extra class after school and if they did not he will give them a lot of difficult exercise and if they could not do it he would say those things like why you go to the extra class and you do not know to do this exercise and just ask your extra class teachers and he could he didn't uh, solve the exercise for them and for me, he destroyed all must the ghost imagining nation, the ballot teachers in my mind. And he made me really disappointed. So I changed my mind and I thought that being a teacher is not enough to educate others. You have to be a good teacher. So in this video, I want to show my opinions in two problems of quality of education. The number four global goal for sustainable development. The first one is about the increasing the supply of qualified teachers in developing countries. And the second one is about the maintaining equality in education. Is it not really objective for me as a student to talk about a qualified teachers? But um, I hope that I could raise my voice to show the student perspective who directly receive education from the teachers. And in my opinion, education or educating does not only mean that teaching students uh, theory or knowledge through textbooks but also instructs them to apply it in the practical and other soft skills to manage the life. So teachers would be the mirror, the model for its student. Yeah, to ensure that all the teachers have ability to do those missions, they have to be qualified. And education university plays an important role in forming qualified teachers for future but face to the truth that in Vietnam education universities do not require their students as much as other university or academy for example the basic point to get in the education university is lower than other and I want to see that so where is how can we qualify how can we ensure that the teachers is qualified and just remember that we are educating future generations means we are making futures Vietnam and creating future world so I do not choose to become a teacher but I still follow my staff in making a better education. To mention about the equality in education, many people will talk about the differences uh, in the 
education environments between rural and urban area. In my opinion, there is a lot of lot of problem caused the inequality in education. Recently, there has been a social tidal wave of making fake high score in the national university entrance exam by the examiners and other people who has responsibility and related to the examinations. And the student who has better family condition will get the higher score in this exam. So what are happening? We will live with the inequality in education or someday in the future we have to have a good con family condition to get in a good university. And remember the song that we are the world, we are the children. Every kid were taught that they are the world, they are the future, they are the future of nations, the future of the world. So what the future gonna be? And to conclude that, I would say I not only one could solve all the problems immediately, but all can do it. And we need time. We have to change our mind first and then change our mind. Mandela said that education is the most powerful weapon which we can use to change the world.